about oh, Taco yeah. Fest for a whole week here. There was a truck here at the station this week, and it was delicious. Oh, I miss the, mm -hmm. the food truck, but I it's know. funny you mention it. One of our photographers, Jim McArdle, who often works with us on the morning show, uh, he texted me some pictures of the vegetarian taco truck, and I was like, are you bringing Ooh, any I back? Know. I mean, I still I still am dreaming a little bit about some of the tacos we saw yesterday morning. Oh, right. They were so good. Where was I for this? I know. Exactly. I know. Hungry with this right we now. Were so so we were so hungry. We were so hungry. Uh, and a, a frozen, the frozen margaritas yesterday morning yes. looked good, too. Yeah, and the perfect weather for all for it, of it. But, yeah, a yes. little early for it, but the weather is going to be great for it if you're going to be heading out there to Royal sure. Oak for mm -hmm. plenty of sunshine today, much like we had yesterday. That low humidity is going to be sticking around as we head throughout our Sunday as well. Tower Cam looking from Windsor across the lake over into downtown Detroit. A little bit of high cloud cover and some sunshine heading outside early this morning. Most everyone checking in into the 60s as well. 64 right now here in Detroit. 60 as you work into Howell. 62 right now in Pontiac and 61 as you're checking in with us over in Adrian. Our dew point that measure the moisture content of the atmosphere 40s and 50s. That's in check. We like those numbers but enjoy this because the humidity starts to return as we head into early next week. We're wedged between two frontal boundaries, one off to the north, bringing thunderstorms toward Minneapolis this morning, and then one down to the south with showers and thunderstorms into the lower Ohio Valley. High pressure right around Springfield, Illinois, keeping us high and dry. That's going to bring us lots of sunshine, that northeasterly flow, keeping us on the low humidity side of things as we head throughout today. But then changes come as we go from late Monday and into Tuesday with those thunderstorms returning to the forecast. The Storm Prediction Center has placed a good chunk of southeastern Michigan under a margin risk for severe weather. That's one out of five on our severe weather scale. I do think this is after dark on Monday night overnight into early on Tuesday morning where we could see some gusty winds in excess of 60 miles an hour and the possibility for some hail and heavy rainfall to go with it. But I'm really not thinking this is going to be an event where we see any kind of tornadic activity heading from late Monday and into Tuesday. So enjoy the sunshine today. A little bit of high cloud cover around from time to time today, but we are high and dry all day long. We'll keep the clear sky Skies in overnight tonight with more sunshine on the way for the first part of our Monday. 10 o'clock Monday morning, bountiful sunshine. Take the sunglasses. You'll need them early, but those clouds increase Monday afternoon into Monday evening. Maybe a stray shower or thunderstorm by 7 o'clock Monday evening, but I think most everyone is dry until overnight Monday night into Tuesday morning. And the commute back to work could be a little rough by 7 o'clock Tuesday morning. This run of our clouds and radar here has those thunderstorms moving right into the metro. So we're going to have to watch that one very very closely. If we are looking at severe weather, this would be the best time to see the least amount of severe weather because we normally see it in the afternoon, but we will keep a very close eye on it. As we end to Tuesday afternoon, we'll hold on to the chance of a few thunderstorms, but this run of our models here bringing back some sunshine as we go from Tuesday afternoon and heading into Tuesday evening. Not a bad day today. Lots of sunshine, lower humidity, 60s by 8 o'clock this morning, 70s by lunchtime, mid 80s for a daytime high as we head into this afternoon. A little more humidity as we go overnight tonight. We'll drop to 66 tonight with that south wind at about three to six miles an hour, bringing in that humidity upper 80s to near 90 degrees as we head into our 4th of July on Monday with widespread showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. We'll keep the chance of showers and thunderstorms into the forecast for Wednesday and Thursday with dry weather moving in for Friday and Saturday. Grant and Priya. All right. Thank you, Brian.